Hey YouTube, Droid Review here. Um, yet another fabulous application review. I'm going to go through a few today. I'm going to go through them kind of quick because of uh, the time limit. So please bear with me if I'm a little too fast. Just leave your questions and comments in the uh, comment section and I'll get back to them as soon as I can. Or if, if anyone out there knows the answers, feel free to answer them. Okay, the first one I want to go over to is called Doc Runner. And basically what this does is just puts the phone in dock mode. So really you don't have to go out and purchase that 40 or $50 dock to put your phone in and have it on your desk or whatever. Um, it is still cool to have the dock because it does hold the phone up straight and it's also going to charge it at the same time. Unfortunately when you have this plug, when you have this application running called Dock Runner, you're un unable to put the phone up really in a good position because the charger is going to uh, block it. So what, basically what happens is, is it puts the phone in uh, dock mode. And that's what you're going to see right here. Um, I guess I could turn it around here. Um, you're going to be able to see it like this. Um, let's do it this way. And you're going to see the weather here. Uh, you can play your music, have a picture scrolling through. Uh, you can adjust the brightness of the screen so that when you go to bed or whatever. Um, from what I've heard, it's still pretty bright. Um, there is no setting to, to lower the brightness at all, which kind of sucks, but oh well. Uh, when you turn back on here, uh, you can set your alarm. Just your, your usual alarm can be set through here. Um, click the back button. It's going to take you back through here. So it just gives you kind of the cool little alarm setting, you know, or alarm clock look with the weather, and you can play music and adjust the brightness. Now, one thing that you do have to remember is in order to get out of this application, you do basically just have to click back or you can click home. It's going to keep it in um, landscape mode, so you actually have to go into the application here and just run it again, and it'll automatically exit you out of the application. That one's called Doc Runner. The next application I wanted to go over was one of my favorite um, news applications. It's from the Associated Press. It's just called AP. AP Mobile, it's right here. It's downloaded free in the Android market. Click on it, and uh, it's just it's just a newsreader. It's not a widget or anything like that. Um, it's uh, basically just going to be um, your top headlines, top stories. Um, I like it because it's not very biased. Um, it's not too conservative. It's not too liberal. It's right in the middle. You can program different ones that you want in, like showbiz headlines, top headlines, world headlines, sports headlines, stuff like that. Um, and then uh, you can also program cool stuff in, like I like, um, for instance, technology headlines and press releases on different technologies that's came out and stuff like that. Each one's usually going to have a picture, so if you bring something up here, um, we'll bring up, we'll click on something. It'll have, you know, it'll have the article here and uh, you know a nice picture to go along with it. Um, so it's pretty cool, pretty cool. You can actually customize it pretty, uh, uh, pretty well here with uh, different alerts and settings and stuff like that throughout the settings here. Um, so you can turn on notifications, um, you can have the weather uh, uh, be at a different area or just where you are. Um, you can also um, change your categories, you know, on which categories you want. So I have wacky always there because I always like to see the different weird headlines obviously with wacky wackiness. Um, Anyway, so um, that one's called AP Mobile, and it's by Associated Press. Um, all right, the next one I'm going to be going over um, is a pretty cool one. Um, it's called World Tour, and all it is is, is it's basically a bunch of webcams throughout the world, um, and you, they'll basically just auto-update your wallpaper. Um, so basically, you open the program, you click on Choose Webcam, and... Um, these are the ones that you have to choose from. There's a ton of them. I mean, just a ton. And uh, so we'll, we'll just choose some random one. Like right now, um, we'll just choose the Eiffel Tower. And basically what it does is it's going to set your home screen and refresh, you know, however however many times you want to refresh it at. You can have it set as like a 30-minute, a 5-minute, an hour, a 2-hour. And basically what it does is it just changes your... Um, your home screen to what the webcam looks like. So right now, obviously, it's dark over there. It's only 1229 here, but in Paris, it's actually dark. So there's the Eiffel Tower. And so if we go back into it here, um, we'll go into World Tour. You can change it to um, a different one if you wanted to, like uh, the Statue of Liberty. It's going to apply it here. We're going to click on Home. And then there's the Statue of Liberty. So. 
voila. Kind of different, kind of cool. I thought it was pretty cool considering you can have it um, automatically change to random ones. So you'll have a, di a random picture every 30 minutes of just different webcams throughout the world, which I thought was pretty cool. So we'll go ahead and leave that one on for now. Uh, the next one I wanted to go over, it was called Instant Lyrics. And um, this one's pretty cool for, uh, for all those music fans. I'm a huge music fan out there, and I listen to a lot of music where the lyrics are somewhat hard to understand, yet they do have meanings behind them. So I always want to know what they're talking about and what they're screaming about. So um, basically what we do is uh, we, we start up a song, so let's go into our music. And unfortunately, from what I've seen, it only works with the stock music player so far. I tried using mixing, and it didn't work uh, correctly. So let's go into artists. Uh, let's just click on Unearth here. We'll do this one. Uh, we'll just do this. So it's going to start playing some metal there. Click on Home. And then if we open up Instant Lyrics right here, it's automatically going to see what I'm playing. And then it's going to bring up the lyrics uh, uh, right here, all of them. And you can control the music too through the uh, through the lyric or through the uh, application. So if I were to pause it, it's gonna pause. If I were to play, it's gonna play. If I wanted to go to the next song, you know, here's the lyrics again. Now, um, what you're gonna want to do, you know, if you want to change the the band or artist to a different one, you just bring your drop down here, go to the music, then you're obviously gonna uh, click on menu, you know, library, and you can change it to uh, whatever. Let's take it down a notch and go to Kings of Leon, click on here, click home, and then open up your instant lyrics, and voila, there it is. So that's called instant lyrics, it's free in the Android market. They do have a donate version, um, I think it's just ad free, that's the only difference, so that one's called instant lyrics. So I'm going to go ahead and stop this. All right, so let's go ahead and kill some of these some of these applications that we're cracking on right now. Um, the next one I wanted to go over um, is going to be called Where, okay? And this is basically just kind of a uh, an application that shows you um, what's going on around you. Um, I really only use this for one purpose, or actually two things. I use it for gas prices. If this is going to locate your uh, location, see where you're at. It's going to give you weather, obviously, right here. Um, it's going to um, locate you and find the nearest gas prices, the cheapest ones possible, by octane. So you can have 87, 89, 91, 93. I have it set at 93 because, unfortunately, my car uh, requires premium. So here's, all, here's the cheapest gas that's around me. And obviously, Costco is always the cheapest, and that's why I go there for gas. And what's cool is you just click on it, and you can actually navigate to it, too, using the navigation. We're going to click back here. Um, but the biggest thing that I use it for is because when me and my girlfriend are driving around trying to find a place to eat and we're indecisive, um, I really don't care where we go, but she's very indecisive. Just click on the review button. And I don't use it for reviews. I just click on restaurants. And then I click on all restaurants. And it's going to locate me, obviously, and it's going to find all the restaurants around me. At least most of them, I should say, 80%. And you just scroll through and keep scrolling and then click next 15 and keep scrolling, well when it loads, keep scrolling, 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 scrolling. And so that way I can just read off all these restaurants to her and she'll finally find one and go, oh yeah, BJ's, let's eat there, that sounds great. So we'll click on it. If we don't know where it's at, we can call, we can um, we can get navigation to it, so it's, it's pretty cool. I love this app, it helps me a lot when I'm deciding on um, where to eat how to find some cheap gas. Um, it has some other options in here, obviously. Uh, you can set different, um, you can set different uh, locations, you know, like by brands, like if you like Subway and Jack in the Box or whatever, if you need to know where your banks are, you click on Bank of America here, and it's going to bring up um, all the banks in your, in your area that are nearby you. So that one's called Where. It's free in the Android market. So... Those are the ones that I'm going to be showing you today, guys. Uh, I just wanted to give everyone a heads up and say thank you again for you know all your nice comments. Um, I'm going to keep doing these until someone says to stop because you guys are giving me some great props. Um, I appreciate everything you're saying. Just a heads up, I'm going to be coming out with another video, maybe some tips and tricks. Uh, my next video is going to be a weather widget war. There's tons of them out there. I'm going to go through about five or six and show you the best ones um, that I like that I'm going to keep. Um, 
and I think you'll like them too. So stay tuned. Thanks again for watching. See you guys.